It's 6.40 now on this Monday morning. Thanks for waking up with us and joining me now. Jackie Powell, the CEO and President of the Convention and Visitors Bureau. So glad to have you, Thank you here in Dayton. And we are always talking about the impact of tourist dollars and the fact that, you know, we compete with a lot of cities uh, for those tourist dollars. But September, we've really fared well, didn't we? Absolutely. We had a great month in September. We had approximately 35,000 people who were in our community. Oh. They brought in roughly $12 million in economic impact, and that represented about 20 different groups. So September was a wonderful month. And actually, three of the groups that we had in in September will be returning next year. The Mead Kusa Cup Soccer Tournament, the Order of the Eastern Star, and also the uh, the annual U U.S. Air Force Marathon. So, why do we do so well drawing soccer tournaments? I, I, Jackie, I'm telling you this one thing I've really noted this year. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I think we have some fantastic tournament directors here, mm. and they have taken what started as small events and really turned them into, well, nationally, actually, uh, well-recognized uh, events and tournaments in, in our community. So um, I think it has an awful lot to do with not just the fields and the infrastructure, but absolutely the people that are running those tournaments. People and facilities. That's Absolutely. really what you've got to deal with, Jackie. Thank yes. you. Looking ahead now, we're already into October. So far, so good? Yes. Um, we'll have, again, approximately 20 different groups that will be in wow. this month. Uh, smaller numbers, uh, about 5,000 people and $1.5 million in economic impact. Uh, one of the larger events that we'll have is AFSIA, which is the Armed Forces Communications and Electronics Association. Wow. Uh, they've been here every year since 1991. Uh, uh, bringing about $300,000 in economic impact into the community, but also the local chapter, which is the Miami Valley, um, uh, represents the Miami Valley as the Dayton Wright chapter, um, raises uh, funds for scholarships, and they've awarded over a million dollars in scholarships in the Miami Valley. So a very wonderful event in the community and a great organization as well. One thing uh, Jackie told me, and I want to share with our viewers, is the fact that locally, if you've got a, if you've got a hook on an event or an organization, that can really draw the national organization to Dayton. You said that was Scrabble, that was what was so effective. Absolutely. You have such an active group here. Absolutely. Um, we're always uh, asking for uh, community folks to let us know of any organizations that they belong to that potentially could bring an event into our community. And with Scrabble, for instance, um, we had uh, we, a local chapter and uh, some individuals locally who really wanted to bring that group in and worked very hard with us and that eventually has ended up now that it's been here twice and we're working on bringing it again in the future. Mm -hmm. And we have several groups like that, that uh, it just takes a little bit uh, of, of a presence and an interest from the local community as well to help us bring those groups into town. Fabulous. Yeah, don't be shy. Go see Jackie. Absolutely. The Convention Visitors Bureau. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank we'll you. see you next month. Thank you. Time now, 643. Now, meteorologist Eric Zarnitz and...